see how we can get through here then. I have to sort of weave the camera through because it's... <laughs> ah, no! Snow in my coat. Oh, very snowy. <laughs> it's like all the branches are so heavy with the snow. It uh, creates like almost like tunnel sort of thing. It's crazy, actually. Cool, though. I think this is the most snow I've ever seen in Sweden in such a short period of time. Since we filmed a couple of weeks ago where it was a lot of snow, all the snow thawed, like all the snow melted. It was plus degrees for a few days, it rained, so you could see, you know, grass and stuff. It's like this much snow came down in like a day and a half, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, Muppet. Oh my goodness, man. Look how much snow there is. Oh, our feet are buried in it. Insane. Let's see if we can get through here with a snow racer and a sledge and a grumpy baby. You're happy though, aren't you, mate? <laughs> are you trying to snow yourself? No, no, yeah. You're trying to snow me, are you? Yeah. Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo nice. Both strongest mama. Yeah, we are your strongest mama. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been quite a few years since we've had this much snow, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like the last, the last two or three years have been like, the winters have been really mild, haven't they? Yeah, I can't even remember last winter, obviously, but was it the winter 18? Then it was a lot of that snow. That was a lot, yeah. Then it was go like... Faster. <laughs> go faster. Yeah, that year we had like minus 28 or something. Stupid cold. Yeah. And, and a lot of snow. snow. A lot, a lot of snow. And we lived in town, so when the plough came, we like ploughed in our cars, we had to shuffle them out, <laughs> like dig them out in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nice, really nice with uh, when it comes down so much. Yeah, it looks beautiful, like on the trees and on the, like in the nature when it's this much snow, when it's not got too heavy yet to fall off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's nice for the kids as well. It's like unlimited entertainment when yeah. it's this much, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing that's a bit rubbish is that it's too cold to build stuff. Yeah. Like it's too cold, you can't build snowmen or anything like that because the snow is like just powder. Yeah. Whatever. So easy to go for a walk, like just put them on the snow racer or the sledge and... Yeah go kind of thing you don't have to entertain them while you're walking no exactly we did a video a few years ago when well maybe a couple of years ago when Bella was a baby when Bella was a baby and we'd not long had the snow racer there was a lot of people that had not seen a snow racer before well, it was to you as well wasn't it <laughs> that's what I was going to say yeah it was it was the first time that I'd been introduced to them when I moved here and they're just the best things for kids and grown-ups <laughs> <laughs> We got a bit of a situation with overstimulated kids. <laughs> it's been so intense the last couple of days. So much happening, loads of new toys, loads of people everywhere, loads of sugar. <laughs> and we limit sugar quite a lot normally, so when it's been unlimited for two days, yeah, it's, it's a bit much. Like they don't eat an insane amount, but from what they're used to, it is an insane amount. It's quite a shock to the system, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, Bella was only all right for like half a day before Christmas came. Yeah. So uh, they're quite tired and overstimulated. So I think it's a good, good thing to just be able to go out and go for a walk. But they think it's fun to sit in the, in on the snow racer and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, so what did you say? This is where we're going in. Where? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. This is going to be fun. Yeah, off road sledging. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It's like a fairy tale. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free.
which way? That way then. Okay. Charlie, Charlie chose that way. Charlie chose that way. Yes, go on to bring her. Shall I run? Yeah. Super fast. Okay. Are we ready? We're going that way. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Nice to get some fresh air and it's good exercise. It's great exercise. But I am, or we are, fighting <laughs> off colds that the kids have had. Don't lie, mate, you're just out of shape. That as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good excuse though, isn't it? <laughs> Ready? Three, two, Three, one. Two, one. Go! Yeah, so we've had a lovely Christmas at least. We were a bit worried that we uh, wouldn't be able to celebrate Christmas because of the kids being poorly and stuff, or that the rest of us getting it. Yeah. Uh, but we actually managed to get away with just a bit of a snotty nose, so... We've we narrowly a... avoided it, haven't we? But... Yeah, we had a lovely Christmas. Yeah, it was First really nice. real Christmas since Charlie was hey. born. Hey. <laughs> yeah, when uh, Charlie was three months old, we had a proper Christmas and since then we've not because of Covid and then people have been poorly and I've been poorly and chemo yeah. and well, all it was, of that so exactly it was two years of the pandemic yeah. and then last Christmas we actually had Covid yeah and then obviously that was part way through your chemo you just started chemo hadn't you yeah so last Christmas was a write-off yeah. so yeah it felt really really nice to be all together yeah. with family and and everybody sort of had a proper celebration. Yeah, it's really it, was, good. it was really, really nice. Everybody had a lovely time. Yeah. Uh, Bella was terrified of Santa, though. She was. Terrified. But she warmed up a little bit when it came, like when she realised he had presents for him. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you pulling it, mate? Oh, good lad. Give Papa a break for a bit. Can I sit on it? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> go on, Charlie. Go, go, go. He moved. Pull. He moved, Charlie. Pull. Should we do it together? Yeah. Pull, pull. Woohoo, Bella! Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> You'll be a solar sidekick! You'll see Daddy in the car. And don't forget to talk to us all. Well, am I going to pull all three of you little fatsos? Yeah. <laughs> all while holding a camera? <laughs> <laughs> A bit of a funny thing here, a thing that took a long time to get used to, was that on uh, on Christmas Eve, as Christmas is celebrated here, Santa actually comes to your house. So, a Santa shows up, walks down the garden with a big bag of presents uh, on uh, Christmas Eve morning. So, um, it's, uh, it's very different to how it is in the UK, because uh, there Santa comes on Christmas Eve during the night, so that you wake up on Christmas Day morning uh, with your presents under the tree and stuff and you don't actually ever see Santa. But here, Santa actually comes. So it's like magical for the kids in a different way. I don't think there's a better or worse way of doing it because I think both ways are, are amazing and magical for the kids, but it's fun to, to see these differences, like the different ways of doing stuff. So the big question that everybody got is when are we leaving and honestly we don't know. <laughs> There's been a lot with the sick kids before Christmas like we said but when we video this it's just a couple of days after Christmas and uh, we got quite a lot to go through before we head out and we got still got quite a lot to fix with the van. Tom and uh, my dad are sorting so we get hot water which right now feels really really nice because it's freezing to wash your hands. <laughs> uh, in the summer don't matter that much if you don't got hot water but when it's minus 13 outside it's bloody freezing. Uh, so that feels like a nice thing to do. Now when we've decided to stick around for a bit longer and not leave today as the plan was We've had a lot more people who said, can we see you one last time before you go? 
So tomorrow we're going to see some friends. So I don't know if we're going to manage to get out before the new year, but it don't matter too much for us. If we waited this long, what does another week do? And especially when it's filled with fixing the van and seeing lovely friends, like, don't matter that much. And I think it's because we're not setting a time limit on it that makes it a bit hard to get stuff done because it's so lovely to just enjoy the kids and the snow and watching the kids play with the new toys and everything that they got for Christmas and not just rushing through everything. And that's part of why we want to live like we do. So we don't got a time rush on everything and we don't need to do this right now when we can enjoy the kids being kids and not rush through everything with them. So we'll see, we'll work a little bit on each thing every day and uh, we'll see when we get going. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to, uh, to having everything that we'd set out to do done. So definitely feels like we're getting a bit closer. We're still aiming on like the end of this week, really. Maybe like a week from now, like around New Year's, I think. Neither me or Marlin are really that bothered about celebrating New Year's uh, particularly. So if we're on the road and we end up just being the four of us, you know, somewhere nice in Germany or whatever, like, who cares? It doesn't matter to us at all. The only real, like, time barriers, if you like, uh, are ones that we've set ourselves. So if we leave a few days early, it doesn't matter. If we leave a few days later, it doesn't matter. The idea originally was to be uh, somewhere away from the really cold and, uh, and the snow, and obviously we, uh, <laughs> we didn't manage that. So the, uh, the revised plan is just to get somewhere sort of as soon as as soon as possible but not not with any sort of rush or anything so we'll see Three, two, one. Woohoo! <laughs> Whew, go on Sweden! Beautiful that was, what a day! It's so nice to be able to spend time outside when it's, uh, when it's this nice. It's, uh, it's not even been that cold actually today. It's uh, creeping up just to like minus two, minus three, so not cold at all really, um, but still a lot of snow, so it's really nice. The Mullins taking the kids in for a hot chocolate and I am going to try and dig out the van because uh, we need to drive it tomorrow and um, it's not got snow tyres on so uh, it might be a bit of a bit of a challenge but uh, but we'll see so I'm going to dig it out in fact I'll show you it now what a mess look at the state of it bless her how deep the snow is here as well look with a bit of luck this might be the last video that you see before we set off We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, nothing set in stone yet, but um, who knows? And just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to our channel members. So a uh, huge thanks to Peter, Maggie and Carol, who are members of the channel, which, uh, which help us out massively. We're obviously, we're only a very, very small channel. So, uh, so any little help like that is massively appreciated. So huge thanks to the channel members. Um, and if you're interested in finding more about YouTube channel membership, uh, click the join button below this video. Uh, you'll get early access to some of the videos sometimes. And uh, when we get on the road, there'll be a couple of members only bits and bobs there. So um, plus it helps the channel out uh, more than you could know. So um, it is massively, massively appreciated. But um, yeah, that's it for this week. Tune in next Friday, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.